Well, I'm excited to talk about your new movie, We All Think We're Special, which arrives on June 4th. It looks really yeah. good. And uh, before we get into that, here at Bionic Buzz, we are all about people's passion. I want every passion to be an actor kind of come from a certain performance, a certain role, or something that was just natural for you as a child. Uh, honestly, it was like something I naturally uh, did as a kid. Um, I, oof. It's like it was it was a means of of getting positive attention. And uh, I, I really loved that as a kid. And so my dad, uh, like at my dad's office, there were a lot of pretty wild characters that worked with him and worked for him. And uh, so I was definitely uh, <laughs> I definitely used to do impressions of him and uh, he loved it. So that's, that's, that's pretty much where it all started. That and when I found out uh, there was one guy that did all the Looney Tunes voices. Wow. Did you do voiceover stuff too? Or I mean, I've auditioned for voiceover stuff, uh -huh. but uh, man, that one's a lot more difficult to get in. Yeah. Or it seems well, like it. Well, I want to talk about some of your other roles first, because you're very uh, a physical actor, I would say, you know. Um, oh, sweet. Yeah, uh, let's talk about it, because I'm a huge Marvel fan, and uh, oh, nice. in Venom. <laughs> Venom oh, yeah. was great. As much as I did not want to like that movie, because Spider-Man was in it, that movie was fantastic. I know, that's how it was, too. <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, talk about the, what did the director tell you about when you, when your alien simulator started attaching you, because your body is just, like, so into it, and obviously, the C Jag is added later. So I'm always curious about how, like, did they like show you some artwork or something? How what's gonna look like? Because I mean, no. what was your mindset going into that? You know? Oh man, I was so I was, I was like, I was nervous, but I was like, well, well, shit, I'm just gonna use that because obviously this dude's nervous, a little homeless dude that gets picked up for it. But I mean, yeah. uh, it was pretty much the same as when I went to my callback for it. Um, there was a guy that was going before me, um, but he had gone to the restroom and by the time, uh, so by the time, hmm, by the time he, uh, the casting director came out, um, to call on him, he was still in the bathroom and I was there. She said, okay, Jared, were you ready to go? I was like, yeah. So I go in there. And then he starts uh, asking me, do I, am, do I even know what it's about? I was like, well, I don't know. It's, it says antidote. Uh, <laughs> and so he told me, he's like, are you familiar with Venom? Uh, the, the Marvel character's like, oh, shit, yeah, Spider-Man. I was like, that's awesome. So he kind of told me that, you know, uh, a little bit about what was actually going on because i had already done the audi initial audition which was just this thing attaching itself to me and then i just you know went around all over the the floor uh and so basically he was like did you ever see alien kind of related it a little bit to that and i was like okay cool and he said well you've got uh we're gonna play around with it a couple times and um so you have the whole room so I did it the first time and then he laughed and he was like, oh, my God, that was fucking awesome. Was just, <laughs> and I was like, oh, OK, cool. So we did another one and then I got it about a week later. So when we got there. The direction was basically just like that. He said, this thing is in there, comes out, you run up against the wall and that's it. You do whatever else you want to do. So it was <laughs> oh, about eight hours that. of that. Yeah, it was fun. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, it was um, it was a great set, man. It was fun. Um, I'm blanking on the one movie I, I saw on your demo reel on IMDb where, like, I guess you're, like, uh, like a teacher that all of a sudden breaks into, like, a oh! like, crazy dance. And <laughs> it's another physical aspect. Were... Oh, oh, yes, yes, dude. yes. Dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, man, that was so much fun. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah. Dude, that was wild. I was supposed to, see, I think it was supposed to only do two episodes. And then, uh, well, like I was a little, I guess I wasn't really hesitant. I wasn't like super excited because I didn't know what it was. And I kind of read the premise of looking for Alaska. And I was like, well, okay. And then, but my wife was a huge fan of the book. And she said, oh no, oh no, this is going to be, this is going to be great. I was like, okay. So I was only, I was created for the show 
Um, and I was only in, I think the first couple of episodes, but then, um, the showrunner, uh, I'm blanking, right? Oh, he's going to be mad. If he, if he heard this, he'd be mad at me. Josh, um, he, uh, he said, uh, or he had sent an email to casting and then to my agent and they started just putting me in more episodes because he was sort of, I guess character Gus was sort of like this, the main character's connection to the outside world a little bit. And then they mm -hmm. had this scene at the end where these kids play this huge prank. And uh, that's what is on my that's reel right. where okay. this gas station attendant, uh, Gus, he, uh, you know, he gets involved in, in this prank that they do which is him pretending to be a this uh, or yeah <laughs> <laughs> so goofy yeah i go on this huge long rant about sexuality and all of that in the teenage years and uh <laughs> you know there's a bit before then where they're like wait do we even confirm he could read and you know because the character's <laughs> not he doesn't appear to be all there really at oh, first oh gotcha <laughs> yeah so I, that was a little long man i really loved that show that was uh oh, that have, was such a great that opportunity out, so yeah it's a i mean <laughs> it's, it's a really good show altogether. like uh yeah. i had worked with the the main actor on there charlie Plummer. i, I had worked mm -hmm. with him sort of uh prior to that on uh words on bathroom walls which actually was a voiceover role that was the voice oh cool role. yeah yeah well, but, I'm also uh, a, a big uh, Bill and Ted fan, and you got to be in the <laughs> latest edition of Face the Music. Uh, well, actually, two roles, actually, huh? <laughs> yeah. I think it uh, was Young, two, young yeah. Ted and then Jesus himself. Wow. Uh, <laughs> oh, I am in the. There's another part where it has all the, uh, I forget what they're called, the people that are like the, I guess you would say they were the, uh, the council or whatever. I can't remember. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. I was, I was also stories? there too. Oh yeah, my God. Yeah, stories being on set and stuff, you know? Oh or? my, man. So I was supposed to just be Jesus because I was, I was doing my last week of looking for Alaska, which was the whole dance sequence. Mm -hmm. So I was doing that. And then my agent gives me a call and says, Hey, uh, what are you doing uh, for, you know, for these two dates, like these two days? I was like, I mean, I, you know, my, my wedding was, about a couple months, uh, you know, away from that. So it's like, I mean, nothing really. I need, I need money. Uh, and so she said, well, Brent wants you in for Bill and Ted. I was like, oh shit. Well, that's cool. Um, and dude, so I was just supposed to be Jesus and this is the fun story. So that day on my last day is Jesus. I'm sitting in the makeup trailer and right next to me is Tommy Lee from uh motley crew like decked out in leather and i was like oh cool what's up man he was really hell you know yeah. he was nice whatever um hell yeah and so a few hours go by and they're like oh um i can't remember the makeup head's name right now he was man he was great too uh he had a lot of cool stories but he was calling me the pa came up and said jared the uh bill bill corso he's like bill wants you in the uh Bill wants you in the makeup trailer. I was like, oh, sweet. Am I done? All right, I'm done. I'm, I'm done. Cool. That was nice. And then uh, they, <laughs> they took all the makeup off of me. And then they started making my face look smoother and did some stuff with my hair because Tommy Lee and I are the same size. So he had left. Uh, I don't know what happened. Nobody was mad at him. Everybody was just kind of confused. Like, well, where did he go? So he left set. And so they just, you want to be something else? I was like, okay. So they, then they threw me in as that too. And then it was wow. the Keanu Reeves and I were about the same size. So they were like, so then they, so I ended up getting like, I think it's full four, four days on it is what it ended up being, which was like that, that's a, you know, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. It was supposed to just be a day or two. And I was like, ah, you know, in and out. And then. Yes, I think it's because the makeup artist and I, Bill, uh, had gotten along really well. Uh, no, I just be like, he was like, oh, no, I like this guy. I like this guy. That's cool. Uh, well, and I nice, just happened I to be, the, yeah. I guess so. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. to be the same size as Tommy Lee and, and uh, what's his name, uh, Keanu Reeves. Yeah, yeah. that's so cool. <laughs> well, let's, get, let's get into your new movie. We all think you're we're special and you play kind of like this alcoholic you know mm -hmm. and um, 
very another physical very role like you know, yeah as, as your mental health kind of spirals out of control or like watching yeah. the trailer so i guess talk about you know how you got cast and the aspect of putting this you know movie together um well i had gotten this because uh will mcgovern he's uh he's the other actor in the film uh he and i had met a few years before shooting and uh we had met and we really hit it off and um so he said hey i uh i've got my friend kirby and he's doing a film um and i told him let's let's write something uh said let, let's try and write something where jared and i can can work together so it ended up basically being that i got it because of of will um and then i met kirby and uh yeah it was just something that they they had you know they had found funding for something that they had written uh got funding and man that's pretty much it uh i loved it it was some of it was really rough uh i can imagine yeah because it was well it was cold it was cold and you know i'm sweaty most of the time so it's all that fake sweat on you and then it's cold and damp in louisiana and uh yeah so that was the only part that wasn't necessarily fun was that but that and the kind of the emotional state oh i can only imagine because like, you're, <laughs> you're probably in that emotional state throughout the whole shooting because that's all your characters like because basically the, the movie is like you're he i guess your your friend's trying to get you to be sober up for a whole weekend and then it just it's crazy little mind trip you know well everyone check out we all think we're special on vod june 4th thank you for joining me man and all your fun stories